The Holy Spirit of God spoke to me last night. And uh, I'd like to share with each and every one of you what he said. Now, church, I am a watchman. Let me start with that first. That's what I do. That's what Preston does. I know many watchmen even on YouTube that are watchmen. That's what we do. We can't do anything else. I'm telling you, it is in me to watch. I cannot do anything else. I can't get away from it. I can't go to anything else. That's what I do. God made me a watchman. I watch every day, day and night. I watch for the signs that are given to me. The Holy Spirit gives me warnings. I watch to see if the warnings come to pass. I listen for the warnings. The Holy Spirit of God spoke to me and he said, I would know when it is near. Because he never gives me a date nor an hour or a time when the end or anything or the church is going or Jesus is returning. I don't know the hour or the date, but I know the signs. The Holy Spirit said, I would know when it is near when I see Christians in America being persecuted, arrested for preaching the truth, preaching the name of Jesus, the death of Jesus, the burial of Jesus, the they'll be persecuted for preaching Jesus even rose from the grave and that he is the son of God. They're removing the blood of Jesus. The Holy Spirit of God said the day is coming when the Lord's Supper will be removed. You no longer can teach the blood of Jesus. The day is coming when the Bibles will be taken and changed. He said they will remove the New Testament. It will be removed and taken out. Anything that has to do with the birth of Jesus Christ and the return of Jesus. Everything of the New Testaments will be removed, the Holy Spirit said. Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 17. The word says, I have set watchmen over you, saying, listen to the sound of the trumpet. But they say, we will not listen. Verse 18. Hear you nations and know, O congregation, what is among you. Verse 19. Hear earth. Behold, I will bring upon you this people, even the fruit of their thoughts, because they have not listened unto my words, nor to my law but rejected it. I am a watchman. I can hear the voice of the bridegroom. I hear the voice of Jesus calling to me, church. I hear him calling. The word of God calls me. It calls to me. I hear its voice. Some refuse to listen. They refuse to hear. So God sent them messengers. We are crying in the wilderness. We're crying in the streets, but you refuse to listen to us. The day is coming when you will desire to hear the voice of the bridegroom. You will desire to know when the day of the bridegroom's coming is. You'll desire to know the hour of the bridegroom. You'll desire to know. That's right. That's what the Holy Spirit of God said. He said, when you will be knocking at the door. Because of the darkness, the pestilence, the drought, the famine, the violence, the wars that are coming upon this earth. The day is coming where you will cry out to God because of the destructions, the storms, the tornadoes, the hell fire, the earth burning, the flooding. And I'm telling you, there's going to be earthquakes coming one after another that the earth will shake continually. It will not stop shaking, church. I'm telling you, this is what the Holy Spirit said. That the earth will continue to shake and no man can stop it. No man has the power to stop the shaking in the earth that is coming. In that day, the Holy Spirit of God said, you will indeed look for a watchman. You will. I promise you, you will. You'll cry out in the darkness. Is there a watchman? Is there a watchman here to sound the trumpet? Is there a watchman to warn us? You'll cry out all right. You sure will. You'll be ready in that day to listen to a watchman. You'll desire to hear the voice of the bridegroom. 
you will indeed ask what hour, what watch will the bridegroom return? The hour is coming for the watchmen. Those that watch, I promise all of you that sit back and think you have time to do nothing and just live out your everyday life without making Jesus Christ your Lord and your Savior except in the bridegroom. I promise you, your days are being numbered. The clock is indeed ticking. I am a watchman on the wall. It is my duty. Do you hear me? It is my duty. It is given to me to warn you. And I must warn you. Time is short. We do not know the hour or the day. But I tell you what, I feel it. I feel in my spirit. Preston is feeling it in his spirit. We are all feeling this anxiousness. There is something coming upon us that is telling us, be ready, be watching, be alert, be prepared. Go out and reach as many as you can. And today, I am a watchman and I'm calling out. I'm sending the trumpet. I'm sounding it. I'm sounding the alarm. Will you listen? Will you listen to me? Please listen to me. I, I beg you to listen to me. Because I promise you this day is coming. I have never lied to you. And I will always tell you the truth. The clock is ticking. And your days are numbered. Be ready now. Right now. Repent. Right now. Repent of your sins. Say, Father, forgive me for all my sins. In Jesus' name, Father, forgive me. And God will forgive you of all your sins and your unrighteousness. God is faithful to forgive us because of the blood of Jesus. Accept Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. Ask Him to come inside of your heart and to lead you and to teach you and to guide you. Believe in God. Trust in God. Believe that 2,000 years ago, Jesus died on the cross for you. And His precious blood made you clean. He washed you in His blood. Believe that on the third day, the power of God rose Jesus from that grave. And Jesus is alive forevermore. And because he lives, we shall live forever in eternity in the kingdom of God. And believe that our Father, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is sitting on the right hand of power. On the right hand of the Almighty God. Believe this. Repent. Accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And I will rejoice with all the angels in heaven over one sinner that repents. I will rejoice because I know when I enter. And through the gates of heaven as a watchman, I will see you there. And know that when I sounded the trumpet, when I sounded the alarm, when I asked you to listen, you said to the watchman, I heard you, watchman. Oh, Jesus. I heard you, watchman. And I listened. I listened. And I obeyed the voice of God. I accepted Jesus as my Lord and my Savior. And I am in the kingdom of God. Because God sent his watchman unto the earth. And they sounded the alarm. And I'll see you there. I'll see you in the kingdom of God. Because I don't want to leave anyone behind. As long as I'm here, I will keep sounding that alarm. I will. And I pray to God. I pray to God with everything that is in me. That you will listen. That you will listen. God bless you, church. And I love each and every one of you. And I thank God for everyone that he calls to my channel. That he gives me the opportunity to hear me church. That I can win the lost. That you will listen to the voice of the watchman. God bless you. God bless each and every one of you. In Jesus Christ, most holy, holy name. Amen. God bless you, my friends.